Hi guys, Paul and Tom's here. Hello. And this is going to be a video on our visit to T-Motor. And that was quite spectacular, wasn't it? It was amazing. <laughs> so one of the things you guys would have noticed is on their Facebook posts, etc. The offices look quite spectacular, don't they? Yeah, they're really awesome. So it was quite spectacular actually seeing the office space and where they work um, and where their marketing department is, etc. So that was actually really, really cool. And just seeing like where they, their lounge and uh, leisure sort of area is. Okay, one of the things that we weren't aware of was the fact that they make props, don't they? Yeah, they make carbon props mainly for the bigger stuff. So your agricultural, you know, UAVs, cinematic. military, um, cinematography platforms, etc. And they had some massive props, didn't they? Yeah, they were insane and they were so light. Like, I forgot <laughs> what carbon fiber props felt like and they're amazing. So, so yeah, really big props. That was really cool, something we didn't know about. We also got to look at the uh, area where they do the design work, where they design the um, team motors. They, they work on the FPV motors, were they at the time when we went there? Um, I think they were, yeah. And we also got to look at some of the motor designs that they had there, etc. and some pretty big motors, and um, especially the R&D department. Wasn't that nuts? The R&D department is amazing. We could have spent like two or three weeks there and it would have been heavenly. It was amazing. So literally what they could have done is actually dropped us off at the R&D department and walked away and just left us there. We would have had a ball, wouldn't we? Oh yeah, it was so good. Um, it was just... Yeah. Just seeing the stuff they were experimenting with, sort of things, the silly ideas that we ca occasionally get, they sort of go out and test all those ideas, which is really, really cool, you know what I mean? I'm just, just seeing uh, what it is that they do and uh, the testing that they do there, isn't it? Yeah. And some crazy contra contraptions, etc. that they had. Yeah, they had this crazy wooden thing that's like this like <laughs> cylindrical ply. Everything from ESCs, massive ESCs um, that they had there, absolutely everything. So that was really, really cool, seeing exactly how they go about doing that. From there, what we did was we went off and we had lunch. The other cool thing we got to do, we went to one of their, um, another site, wasn't it? Yeah. Where they did all their graphic design. This is uh, their graphic design for the artwork for the websites and basically the, the typical marketing. They had sample motors there. Um, it was pretty cool checking out the sample motors there that they had, they were photographing them. They had like a studio thing there, wasn't it set up? Yeah, it was full on. And then this here was all the different anodizing colors they had looked at before picking those three colors that you see now for the F40 Pro 2. Uh, it was amazing. There were some really, really cool colors there. And I'm like, damn. It was like being a kid in a candy store, wasn't it? Oh, it was amazing. I just wish that you could like have this build a motor workshop day thing where you just go, oh, I want that one and that one is yeah, sticking together. It'd be so cool. But yeah, that was amazing. So the next thing we did was we went off to another site again. This is where they do their manufacturing, the manufacturing of their motors. Um, and that was really interesting, seeing the materials where they receive all the materials. This is the, the, the raw uh, aluminium. Uh, they talked about how they were aerospace grade aluminium that they were actually using on their motors. Um, and basically what they were trying to do was achieve the highest quality motors they could, wasn't it? Yeah, and I mean, all the testing is done in-house too for the aluminium and that to make sure they only have the best. So they get it mm. and then they test it again yeah. to make sure it's all really good. So it's um, the quality and the standards they work to was amazing, especially considering for the FPV stuff, they don't compromise on their testing and their tolerances at all. I mean, that the was, little motors are pretty much the yeah. same. That was tolerance is the big ones. As the bigger ones, exactly. They worked to the same standard, which was really quite surprising. They were sort of working, um, all their quality control procedures, etc., were very aerospace-like. Um, I suppose they've got uh, procedures and standards they need to follow, obviously for the bigger motors, etc., but all those are actually applied to what they do for their F40 range, uh, F60 range, etc. The FPV gears that, gear that we actually use. So it was really interesting seeing that actually being manufactured, wasn't it? Yeah, it was spectacular. And as far as the uh, where they do their fitting and turning, the place was actually immaculate, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really clean the whole way through. So basically we got to walk through the uh, whole plant and have a look at um, the process they use for their machines, as in uh, how they manufacture them. Everything from winding through to testing, uh, etc. Yeah, it was really impressive. Um, 
the efficiency too of the way they worked was really, really crazy. The other thing that was very different to uh, manufacturing in Western countries or what I'm used to, especially with aerospace, we sort of um, train people so that they can multitask and take over different roles and all that, whereas they had a different methodology. Um, they focused on having experts in every single area where their only job was that one little part of uh, manufacturing and that's what they essentially focused on. So this meant they had people that have been doing this day in, day out, and they really knew that job inside out, wasn't it? Yeah, it was actually really funny. There was one point where a F40 Pro that had just been packaged and everything, he pulled, popped open the package to show us all the stickers. This was Anki, he actually that. opened up, showed us that packaging. This is the, this is the pr first production batch, wasn't it? Yeah, and then he was going to put all stuff back, and the actual worker took it off him and did it themselves. To make they sure didn't it was trust right. him to do the right thing when he was, when he was putting it away. So that was actually quite cool to, to see that. Um, other thing we got, other things we got to see was their um, laser etching, uh, etc. As in, um, that was spectacular on, to see. It was just like this on little their light, ACs. and just slowly it was like just becoming actual writing. Um, also, the KV testing was epic too. Yes, so we uh, got to see the KV testing that they do on the motors. They talked about the quality. Um, um, was it the, the variation they work to um, and the question one of the questions we ask is what happens when uh, the motors outside their tolerancy range uh, as far as KVs go and they basically said those parts get pulled out they get sent off to engineering and they've got to then analyze and work out why those motors were actually out of tolerancy as in the KVs were out of the out of the um, specified tolerancy and then they investigate what went wrong and they basically go through and uh, fix up the process if need be isn't it yeah and those motors actually get scrapped which is kind of mind-blowing isn't it it is crazy there were like some motors i was like man if they're just a little bit out mm. and if, but even the size of the, some of the motors they had there which was just mind-boggling I mean, they had some really massive motors didn't they they had some ginormous motors and it was just obviously i mean they, they, I, I sort of asked about the applications they were everything from um uh, big heavy lift uh, camera platforms to through. being heavy lift people carrying platforms. <laughs> yeah, so they're already doing custom motor manufacture for, um, uh, I suppose, multi rotors of some sort uh, designed to lift uh, people. So they're already going down the Those were some insane motors, I gotta say. Mm. With, with, without, they were heavy. <laughs> without a doubt. So what we'll do, we'll leave the video at that and you guys can actually have a look at the rest of the footage and some of the processes they use, etc. Um, look, we found it really, really fascinating. So uh, hopefully you guys get as much out of it as what we did and you find this of interest. And if you have any questions and comments, uh, leave them down below. Talk to you guys in the next one. Catch you later. See ya.